with Paripesa, you can enjoy up to 140,000 Naira bonus on your first deposit when you register with our promo code FANSTRIBE via the app or their website. All right, um, I mean, 3 0 loss. Losing to this Man City team 3 0, no be shame for anybody, but then the manner of the loss, you know, the one or two decision from the referee and all that. But uh, your, your thoughts on the game? Um, as much as people go feel, say, maybe people will feel that, ah, there's no positive in this match. To me, I'm going to highlight a few positives, but I want to start on this note. You see, uh, Ten Hag needs to... I, I sense a bit of arrogance in Ten Hag during his press conference when he speaks. And, he's, and when he speaks, he doesn't do the talk. Now, there was a question he was asked in his pre-match conference. I don't think people paid attention. They asked, is this match all about form? And his response was that it's not all about form. It's all about the match. Go, go, go. But today it has shown that it's all about form, that this Manchester United team is not, is poor and City. And let me, and you know the funny thing, this City team didn't even play well today. And I, I, I think it was deliberate from Pep. Number one, because of um, the, the, the sad moments surrounding Manchester United, the loss of Ferguson's wife, um, the loss of Bobby Charlton, you understand? So Pep kind of, okay, let us show respect to this team. <laughs> really? Exactly, because if you look at that win that Grealish was playing, Grealish has been poor this season. All of a sudden, he started Grealish this match. Imagine what would have happened if he started Goku in that match. I don't think Dalo would have had, because this match, Dalo was even able to keep up with space with Grealish. You understand? But look at what Doku did in the space of six minutes. He was even about to cause a penalty. You can see the, his dribbles, frustration entered through Antonio and all that. But... That is that. Now, on the positive, uh, the positive that I took was from the defense. And it seems like Onana is beginning to understand the strengths and weaknesses of his defender. The defenders and Onana played like a unit today. They were like, they were, Onana was able to come out from the back, you know, to play from the back, uh, yes, but you know that it's what it is. Having um, defenders like Varane, and uh, uh, sorry, like uh, Maguire and Evans, we cannot keep up. That is the best they can give. And let me tell you something. Uh, what people uh, most times I feel that uh, people are not paying attention to. When other teams are training to be physical on the pitch, when other teams are training to run, Manchester City are training to be proactive. Now, if you look at these tiny details, this is what brings about margin in football. Now, when you see that, okay, these guys are matching me man to man. These guys are matching me speed to be there, and it means that I need to be proactive. Every pass that Manchester United made, every ball was being intercepted by the city, and it's all about proactiveness. And if you look at the way they are playing, you will notice that these guys, they did not just become proactive just in one training session. It has become a way of life. You understand? It has become a way of life. It is what it is. City, even when City are not at their best, it looks like they are their best. So, and again, the coach, I don't know, I'm beginning to question Ten Hag's credibility as a coach and as a manager. Because I see no reason why you are playing at home. You keep repeating the same mistake over and over again. The whole matches that Bruno has started from the right who have not won that match. He scored against, um, who was it now? Sheffield. That was not Sheffield, that was the ma match. Away was, from home. Yeah, that was Burnley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just individual moment that it came. But he scored, I mind you. Yeah, yeah, well, actually, he scored. Okay, fine. But what I'm trying to say is that it has not really worked playing Bruno from the right. Anthony is fit. You could see the facial expression on Anthony's face. He told him to go and warm up. Paul Vessel, he tell him to go and sit down. And you're not telling him to come in into 80, 85 minutes at 3 0. What do you expect the boys to do? <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't know what he expect the boys to do. But then again, for Eriksen, Eriksen had no reason to start this match. Yes, he had no reason to start this match. He should have played the same thing he played in the Champions League. During the second half, try and stable the game in the first half. Then the second half, you can bring in Eriksen for control. But Eriksen can only do what he can do. And the reason why he played Eriksen in that match was for creativity. But the guy did not create one single chance. Because the only thing that Eriksen was tasked to do was to give pass. And he couldn't do it. So then, it, it still boils down on we making good signings and we also trusting on the youth. Speaking of signings now, Ten Hag put about 140 million pounds, Messi Mount plus Anthony, for bench in place of Bruno out of position and Ericsson. 
where you buy the mount to replace. What does he say about these guys signing ability and their player identification? Now, that, that is what I just said, that beginning to question his credibility as a manager. Because sometimes I don't understand what he's actually trying to achieve with this team. You can't say what Manchester United is. Are we a counter-attacking football team? Are we a possession-based football team? And if you want to play a possession-based football team, you need midfielders that are able to run at least 75 minutes. Not 50, not 45. Because it was the end of the match, Bruno was busy running up and down like a headless chicken. Now, if you are going to run, you run, you should run, you should have purpose for running. You shouldn't just run and chase people down for nothing. You understand? You should have purpose, but these guys, well, I just take it that we're in that space whereby everybody have their peak in football. You understand? When you keep climbing, when you get to your zenith, you also drop down. Every football club has experienced that. And City, for being who they are, they have never experienced what it's like to be at the top. So this is their moment. Times will come in the future when they will experience the same thing we are experiencing. But not be like this, whether they use end era or I beg. <laughs> Errors come to an end, not be like this. Yes, era comes to an end, but um, everybody, there is no, uh, there is no, uh, will I say, a definitive way that is being written for everybody how your era is going to end. It's unfortunate that Manchester United only is happening this way. And this team, I don't know, but... The, the, the penalty now, the penalty. Uh, for the penalty, it was a soft call. Like, I just felt, it's just EPL. You can, when you are saying, ah, this is foul, this is foul, the referee will say, no, it's not a foul. It was just a soft call, and I feel... That was the defining moment in the game because prior to that penalty, Manchester United were on the front foot. It's like as if these guys knew what they were doing. But after that goal, it, it has always been the same story. Once we concede against a tough team, it's done. So, I saw your final thought. Well, my final thought is if Manchester United for this season can do what they did in the first 17 minutes of this match, and repeat it consistently, then we can get something out of this season. Because for the first 17 minutes of this match, Manchester United looked like a team that actually wanted to play. You understand? And again, and I have to highlight this, that the midfielders, it's like, you know, uh, let me give this analysis. When you touch hot coal, you easily throw it away. That is how the football is on their leg. It's like these guys, once the football comes to their leg, they are looking for the safest or let me just kick the ball. And if you, if, yes, that was what was happening between Amrabat, Eriksen, and Bruno. You understand? So, I don't know. I don't know if Ter Hag is that kind of coach that can coach that into these players. Because as of now, I don't see the personality of this coach in this team. I don't see it. No matter, bro. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you supposed to like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.